juga. Welcome to KTV, Kalista TV, and to the most awaited and popular bike race in Kenya, the Jubilee Live Free Race 2023, powered by Grand Nairobi Bike Race. This is the route parka of the day, a tough one for riders who do not prefer a criterium style course, and of course, climbers who prefer hillier stages. On the menu for the day was the family fun ride, consisting of one lap, the paracyclists doing three laps, the black mamba racers doing three laps, and the elite men and ladies doing five laps around the course. The weather predictions were dry before it started raining, some minutes after the family fund riders had done around half the course. Over 1,500 cyclists registered from five different countries to participate in the event being the third edition since 2019. And on to the conditions of the pouring rain, we had the Black Mamba going up the Langata climb as our cameras were rolling. As Gabriel Ambuko in the paracyclist category went past us. On the other side, we saw Samuel Mwangi going up the climb. And on to lap two of the Mamba category, we had Samuel Mwanuks from the DRC leading the peloton up the climb. We could see position one in the ladies category of the Mamba race, Joyce Nyaruri going up the climb followed by Saidat Mutimke of Rwanda who finished second in the ladies category. And on to the ladies race, as they went past our cameras with big names of the five different countries alongside each other on the climb. With a bit of dry roads before a fast descent to the CBD. On to the men's after two kilometers so Pasimuas as the first breakaway of the day, leading with a two-minute gap. As Lorot tried as a gun on the Chipreso. With the rain increasing, 
we had the ladies doing laps two and descending in a size down peloton than at the start. As the rest of the elite men went up on the opposite side of the road in the pounding rain water. As we now had Jeff Lagat as the breakaway this time and Pasi and Richie Mitati as the chasers following him. And of course, the chasing peloton led by Charles Kagimu. <laughs> Onto the ladies category, the first position was sealed in this move. That's lap three as Baba held onto the wheel of Jeffrey Lagat, the breakaway rider at the front, as Diane from Rwanda chased after her. And we could also see behind her we had Nancy and Alice from Kenya trying to bridge the gap. Behind them was Richie in the elite men's peloton joined by Lorot as they tried to chase down Lagat, the breakaway of the day. By lap number four, position one and two were sealed as Jeffrey Lagarde and Paul Lomoria were licking their lips on the prospects of a potential win as Ndongo Wakeya chased from behind looking for a third position and the peloton was also on their heels led by Pasi again while Baba had created a gap that will see her win the ladies category <laughs> and on to the turnaround of Kenyatta Avenue, we had some of the other riders. We had Martin Mwenda. Also see Moha from Sosi and Kate Caris in the ladies category. As the two breakaway of the day approached for the last lap, the question hanging was who will take the lead as Dongo Wakeya followed closely behind them. Chased by Jordan Schleck and Charles Kagimu, also looking for a top five finish. You could then hear the roar of the crowd as Lomoria counted meters within sight of the finish. Lomuria made it back to back on the podium, this time with 
a brilliant win from last year's second position. Geoffrey Lagarde came past the roundabout, took a glance and started his celebration as it was sealed. And now it was battle for third, a Schleck got the jump on Charles Kagimu. What a valiant effort, what a ride, and what a win.